Hey training friends, I am in my office for a change of setting to talk to you a little bit about an activity that Rick and I are getting ready to do outdoors. This is called sprinkles. This was an activity that was trademarked by a training um, company in the United Kingdom. And it basically is like a scatter feeding. What you'll do is take a portion of your dog's meal outside where it's safe. You can do this on or off leash if it's safe to be off leash. And you'll find a patch of grass or terrain that is safe for, for your dog to forage from. And then you will sprinkle their food in that area. And then you will allow them to forage for it. Uh, the first time, few times maybe that you do this, you might need to let your dog see you sprinkle it so that they understand what's going on. And you can also point to it and say, hey, there it is. You can find it. Go ahead and get it. And then eventually, as they start to get the routine down, you won't have to point it out to them. They'll be able to just know from the routine, from maybe you give them a cue to go find it or get it, that they are allowed to go and forage and look for their food. So if they're not new to this, and even if they are, do your very best to not help them. This is for them to use their nose and forage and sniff and fulfill that need to do that. And if they do need help, obviously help them, but if you don't need to, let them take their time. This can take up to 20, 30 minutes, depending how much food you put out for them. So I hope you'll give this a try. It is a very relaxing activity. It should be at least for them to do that. And um, it's also really good for dogs who might get frantic on walks. So maybe a dog that's nervous or a dog that um, is getting older or doesn't enjoy their walks, this is a nice way to get them outdoors to still use their nose and get some sniffing in. All right, so we're going to go give it a go, and I hope you will too. All right, friends, we are outside, and we are going to do our sprinkles activity. I'm going to do it near this manhole cover just so I kind of know where it is. I have a little bowl of food and treats for Rick. He is ready. This is technically the first time we've officially done this activity, but he does have a find it cue and he can watch and he can start if he wants to. If you want to make your dog wait until you're done, as they're getting better at this activity, you may. But for the first time, I'm going to see what he wants to do. We're just going to let him go ahead and sprinkle and forage. That was maybe a couple tablespoons of kibble and treats. You can do this just simply with their meals. It doesn't have to be treats. I did it with treats this time in a smaller quantity just so it didn't end up being a 15 to 20 minute video. So you can do this in your yard, places that you walk, a park, Again, this is a fenced in yard, so he can do this off leash. And I picked an area where I can remember where it was, so I can see when he's done, so I can start teaching him an all done cue, so he's not foraging and foraging and looking and looking. Although his nose should tell him when he's done. And that's his all done cue. So we are done foraging. I hope you'll give this a try. That was very a nice activity that's calm and relaxing for both of you.